Hello, Blue Jays. I'm Will Wilson, and welcome to The Pulse. Every episode, we highlight news, sports, and student voices at Bondurant for our middle school. A lot of things are in development at BFMS. Addie Gross has the details. Our school district is growing quickly, so they have decided to do some renovations this spring in the middle school so it can accommodate more students. Their plans consist of splitting the wrestling room into four classrooms. Work started last week constructing walls in the wrestling room. They will split the room and make it a more usable space. They also plan to make the old band and choir room into a large flex classroom. The auditorium is having the whole floor raised to the height of the stage. It will then be split into a new band room and choir room. The reason that we're uh, working to get these renovations done now is, uh, number one, uh, we have uh, quite a few more students in this building, and we will next year as compared to previous years. Uh, number two, spaces like the uh, current auditorium, which will become a choir and band room, uh, are uh, in need of adjustments to make it work uh, more uh, appropriately for those classes. And our current choir and band rooms that we've had, uh, we have outgrown. We'll also be adding some other classrooms uh, because we have lots of teachers sharing classrooms and that will help with some of that. We'll be adding more students and staff. Uh, so to accommodate all of that growth, we need to do these renovations currently. The renovations are scheduled to be completed by the first day of school next year. This has been Addison Gross reporting for The Pulse. Last week, Student Council brought back the crush for your crush. Addie Schroeder was on hand. At the beginning of February, Student Council started selling crush pops that were delivered on Valentine's Day. For this, students could pay $1 to write a crush pop for a student or staff member in the building. This project is always a ton of fun for students to write pops to each other as a surprise, and also a student's eager to see if somebody in the building wrote them one too. This year, Student Council made almost $500 for the project, which is a large increase from previous years. That money goes to helping with their birthday parties, fundraisers, school projects, and other fun events like the dance. Student Council and other students at our school also help make this fun project possible by spending countless study halls, lunch periods, and other times helping set the crush pops up and organizing them. We talked to Eden Coy to see what all the Student Council did for the project. Student Council went around and collected money for people to give to their crushes or their friends or themselves if they want to. And then they like sorted out all the pops and put people's names on it. And then in the end, we kind of put them all together in boxes to give to teachers so they can hand them out to individuals. This is Addie Schroeder signing out for The Pulse. Did you know that our school has a jazz band? If not, Aiden Frost is here to fill you in. On Tuesday mornings at 7 o'clock a.m., 6th, 7th, and 8th grade band meets in the auditorium for jazz band. These rehearsals go on for about 45 minutes. The band plays different styles like blues, swing, and Latin jazz. They say phrases like da 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 to help them get the right feel for the jazz that they are playing. One of the songs that they played at last year's concert was Buffalo Head, which featured some instrumental improv where students got to make up a tune using only two notes. Hi, I'm Brendan Martinez. Um, I play saxophone. I play in concert band and jazz band. We play jazz band with the seventh graders every Tuesday from seven to eight, almost the entire hour. Our direct for jazz band is Mrs. Breitbach. She's literally the best teacher ever. She's absolutely amazing and really skilled. Um, right now, I'll do the F major scale. <laughs> The songs they are playing this year include My Dinner with Roland and Bosa Mierda. The concert they will be playing at is the last band concert in May where they will put on their awesome talent. This has been Aiden Frost reporting for The Pulse. Monday, the 8th grade boys basketball team went head-to-head -head against North Polk. Bryce Baker has the highlights. On Monday, February 17th, the 8th grade Blue Jays battled the North Polk Comets in an intense fight. In the first half, the game started out rough, with North Polk having an 8 point lead, but the Blue Jays persevered and made a comeback.
The Blue Jays fought hard, from each possession to an all-rounded defense, making sure North Polk didn't stand a chance. Here's Reed Faltzcraft shooting a three all the way to the house for some Blue Jay points. Here, Dawson Athers drains a three-pointer for some more Blue Jay points. Here are Reed Faltzcraft's thoughts on the game. Um, I feel like we did a great job in the second half of the game coming back from down 10 points. Um, I feel like we needed to get off to a better start in the first half and that we could have done better on the defensive end and in transition, getting easy buckets. The game ended with the final score 53-47 in a Blue Jay victory. This has been Bryce Baker signing off for The Pulse. President Trump said that the Kansas City Chiefs played in Kansas. Where do they actually play? Missouri. Which state do the Charlotte Hornets play in? Charlotte. The, which state do the Baltimore Ravens represent? I'm not really sure. <laughs> which state do the Indianapolis Colts represent? I don't watch basketball. The Indianapolis Colts. Is it a cult? Indianapolis. Oh, Indianapolis. Okay. <laughs> the Jets and the Giants both represent New York, but their stadium isn't actually there. Where is it? In New York. Which state do the Philadelphia Eagles represent? Um, New York. Which state do the Indianapolis Colts play for? Indiana. Which state do the Calgary Flames play for? Um, Illinois, I think. Thanks for watching The Pulse. We'll be back soon to bring you more highlights from Bondurant for our middle school. As always, you can check out this show anytime at bluejaydigital.org. Later!